Cut up story this evening. The government has rejected the Salary Review Commission report, which recommended a 34% increase in salaries for the Prime Minister and members of Parliament. In a statement to the lower house, Finance Minister Kom Imbe noted several anomalies listed in the report that were deemed unacceptable. The details are in this report from Candice Jackson. Finance Minister Kam Imbert highlighted several anomalies in the 117th report of the Salary Review Commission. The report, which proposed a salary increase for Prime Minister and members of Parliament, sparked outrage among citizens and public servants, who were offered a 4% salary increase by the Chief Personal Officer. Imbert clarified that the SRC report addressed not only the salaries of government officials, but also civil servants. In some cases, a 15% reduction in salaries were recommended. These positions include members of the industrial court, also called industrial court judges, <clears throat> the executive director of the Occupational Health and Safety Agency, the director of maritime services, members of the tax appeal board, and the chief state solicitor, among others. This, coupled with other positions being recommended for significant increases, left the finance minister with some questions. How the SRC and its consultants and focus groups or committees arrived at these results? In some instances, the recommendations appear to be irrational on the face of it. Imber told Parliament that the overseas consultants hired by the SRC were not fully briefed on the scope of their duties, responsibilities, challenges, and the impact of their decisions on Trinidad and Tobago, especially concerning individuals under the SRC's supervision. Additionally, he noted instances where there was not enough consultation with stakeholders. The result is that the 117th report of the SRC is unacceptable because of the serious and inexplicable anomalies that have emerged in the recommendations in the report. Instead, the finance minister urged the SRC to reconsider and reassess the recommendation. He is also preparing to compile a list of the anomalies identified in the report. The SRC has been allotted two months to make the necessary adjustments and present a revised report to the president and cabinet. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.